Gurwani class. Types of winds are broadly classified into permanent winds and seasonal winds and the local winds. The permanent winds that are blowing regularly and constantly in a particular direction throughout the year is known as permanent winds or prevailing winds. The main winds are trade uh, westerlies and the polar winds. Talking about the trade winds, trade winds blow from subtropical high pressure belt towards the sub, uh, equatorial low pressure belt in both the northern and the southern hemisphere. The, their direction is from the northeast to the southwest in the northern hemisphere and from the southeast to the northwest in the southern hemisphere. These winds blow from cooler areas to the warmer areas. Thus, these are dry winds. Westerlies blow from subtropical high pressure winds to the subtropical low pressure winds in both the hemisphere. Their direction is from the southwest to northeast and the northern hemisphere and from the northwest to the southeast in the southern hemisphere. Here, the winds are in short. These winds blow from the warmer to cooler areas. Thus, they provide rainfall uh, almost throughout the year. As they are coming, um, these winds blow from warmer to cooler areas. They bring rain. Due to high velocity, they are known as roaring forties because the, the speed is very high, so they have been given this name. Next is the polar wind which blows from polar high pressure, this is the polar high pressure belt towards the um, subpolar low pressure belt in both the hemisphere here and just say from here to there, high pressure to low pressure belt they are moving. These winds blow from the northern, northeast in the northern hemisphere and from the southeast in the southern hemisphere and so as they are coming from the polar region they are very cold winds. Next is seasonal winds. These winds are caused due to the unequal heating of the uh, and cooling of landmass and water bodies. They can change their direction with the change of uh, season. The main seasons seasonal which are uh, monsoon, the sea breeze and the land, land breeze and the sea breeze Monsoon winds which blow towards the land during the summer region and from land towards the uh, sea during the winter season. The word monsoon is being derived from an, from an Arabic word monsoon means season. These are divided uh, into the number and the winter monsoons. During the summer season, the land which is very hot and has low pressure while the sea which is next to the land is hot uh, sorry cool than land as the land remains uh, becomes hotter the water remains cool so it is cool and has a high pressure area thus the wind blow uh, from the sea to the land and cause high rainfall from June to September. Now, this is wind is uh, going from the land to the sea, from sea to land. This is sea breeze and this is land breeze. Okay. Now, during the winter season, the conditions uh, are just reverse of that in the summer. High pressure is now developed uh, in the in, over the landmass, while low pressure is on the over the Indian Ocean. Thus, the wind blows from the land to the sea and bring bring cold and dry weather in the month of November to February in India. Last one of this is the land and the sea breeze. 
uh, are experienced in the narrow coastal regions. These winds are caused by the unequal rate of heating of the land and the sea. In the daytime, the lands are heated up and uh, faster than the sea, which creates a low pressure over a zone on the land and comparatively high pressure zone on the adjoining seas. Thus, then what happens? The wind blows from the sea to the uh, land. Wind blows from the land towards the seas and that is known as sorry land bridge because it is coming from the land towards the sea. That's why it is known as